Hello YouTubers and welcome to another Disney Pixar Cars Diecast Review and today we're going to take a look at Chick Hicks with Headset or should I say Cars 3 Chick Hicks or RSN Chick Hicks. So before we get right into the review, let me discuss something. So Chick took on this paint job minus the headset which wasn't seen in Cars 3 to be the RSN announcer and the host of Chick's Picks with Chick Hicks, accompanied by his fellow RSN announcer, Natalie Certain. And he, he also accompanied Jackson Storm up to Victory Lane after the bumper saved Gears and Glory 450 at Heartland Motor Speedway and they commented about Lightning McQueen's losing streak and during and in another scene he and Natalie Certain hosted an episode of RSN Network work about Jackson Storm's rec new record at Florida International Speedway Way and his winning percentage of 95.2% and and Lightning McQueen being in a demolition derby at Thunder Hollow Speedway which Chick stated that he felt sorry for him not actually we and and their and his winning along with his winning chances of 1.2 percent. He wasn't seen again in the film afterwards. And then at Lightning McQueen's Ra at Lightning McQueen's Racing Academy he corrupted Cruiser Mirrors's racing simulator and challenged Lightning McQueen to a race at Chick Hicks Motor Speedway and eventually he lost then in another then in the in a in one of the Pixar popcorn episodes he he participated in a parking lot game in which was set up by Sheriff and Red he 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 knocked some cones and ended up losing. And that is it. So now let's dig into the review here. You've got his devilish smile and his scheming facial expression and his black grill or mustache and his number 86 and the Arson logo. And on the hood we've got several Piston Cup logos and the Chick Hicks 86 and, and on the left side we've got a number 86 and several Piston Cup logos and yellow rims on his black wall tires which says Chick Hicks instead of Lightyear and the Arson logo and the Arson headset and on the top we've got another number 86 and his name signature and his several sponsored logos on the, the top in his windows and you also have and on the back it's the arson logo and on the back we got a few sponsor logos in the in his name Chick Hicks and on the back it says we have RSN Racing Sports Network 86 and sponsored logos on the spoiler and bumper and on and his exhaust pipes and, and the slogan former and forever piston cup champion and on the right side similar design but completely different and that is it so now let's compare him to the regular chick hicks Both have a, these are similar models, but here are some differences. It has 
HTB, Hostile Takeover Bank, and Chick Hicks 86. HTB on the headlight, and Arson on headlight. Lightyear tires, Chick Hicks tires. HTB logo, Arsen logo. HTB, Chick Hicks. HTB, Hostile Takeover Bank. Arsen, Racing Sports Network. And. And the Dynaco Chick Hicks. And now for the headset, which wasn't seen in Cars 3, in the car, in one of the cars, in the Cars book series, Chick wore a headset when he was training one of his students whose name is Switcher. And here it is. So as you can see, Chick Hicks is wearing a headset when he was coaching Switcher here, here for the Racerama series. And now let's pull up some of the other artist announcers. We've got Natalie Certain, Bob Cutlass, Daryl Cartrick, and Brent Mustingberger. Other cars with headsets like the RPM Crew Chief, Nelson Blindspot, and Pick Remember Fabulous Hudson Hornet. And that is it. So, what do you guys think? Which Arson announcer is your favorite? Which Chick Hicks model is your favorite? And which car with the headset is your favorite also? Leave your thoughts in the comments down below. And if you have enjoyed this video, make sure you thumbs up and subscribe. Also, don't forget to leave any suggestions of which car of the past should I review next. Consider supporting, I mean, please consider supporting I mean, the channel by subscribing. It, I would really appreciate it very much. And I hope to see you guys for another review, so please stay tuned. Goodbye now!